Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we'll be discussing the structure of government. And first up is unitarianism or unitary system of government. This is a system of government in which governmental powers and functions are concentrated at the center. And subnational governments derive their, derive their powers from the center. And next to this is federalism. It will be displayed, it will be displayed very soon. Federalism is associated with KCW, KCW and is a system of government in which governmental powers and functions are shared among the three tiers or levels of government. Of course, we've said this in the very first lecture, that levels and tiers mean the same thing. And finally, we have confederacy. Confederacy or confederal system of government is a system of government in which there is a loose center or a weak center and stronger, strong component units or regions. Or you say the system of government in which independent or autonomous regions or units come together to form a union that is a confederacy. Let's talk about the reasons. What are the reasons for adopting this various structure of government? First, for unitarianism, small country size. And next is common historical experience and language. So countries that share homogeneous characteristics usually adopt unitarianism. Next is federalism. This is for federalism in large geographical size, countries that are very, very large, that have large land mass, usually adopt federalism. And of course, desire to bring the government closer to the people. That's another reason for adopting federalism. This is done by the local government, which is the third tier of the government. And of course, it's the government at the grassroots. What's the reason for adopting confederacy? One is to improve or enhance the first capacity, and next is for economic reasons. So economic reasons is usually desire to have a large market size. Let's talk about the important points. I can assure you they will be displayed very shortly. The important points: first, in a federal system of government, there is no secession. Secession is prohibited. Why in a confederacy there is secession? Secession is allowed. So the major difference between federalism and confederacy is the right of secession. Federalism, no right of secession. Confederacy, there is right of secession of the component units. Now, because Nigeria operates the federal system, let's talk more about the federal system. So in a federal system, there are three lists of powers. And first, first list is the exclusive list of power. The exclusive list of power are powers that reserved for the federal government alone or powers reserved for the center alone. And of course, this includes defense of the country, maintenance of external relations, currency, and a whole lot of them. This is the duty of the federal government to oversee and manage this of these various items and of course to the concurrent list concurrent lists are par shared among the three tiers of government and there are different types we have the we have transportation we have health so let me talk about health in nigeria we have federal hospitals state hospital and Primary health care is in the hands of the local government. Education. In Nigeria, there are federal schools, state schools, and primary education is in the hands of the local government. And up next, let's talk about road. roads. In Nigeria, there are three types of roads. We have federal road, state road, and local government road. The federal is also called the trunk A road. And these are roads linking two states together. Your Binyoria road is a federal road. Your Lagos Bada Express is a federal road. That is a federal It's the duty of the federal government to construct and maintain these roads. Up next is state road. These are roads that link two local governments together. It's the duty of the state governments to 
construct and maintain this road. And next, we have local government road or the Trunk C road. And this, these roads are roads that link two wards within a local government. And it's the duty of local government to construct and maintain these roads. And finally, the residual list. The residual list are parts reserved for the component units alone. Parts reserved for the component units alone. And chief among these is chieftaincy affairs. Chieftaincy affairs. My friends, I know we've come a long way today, and I'm sure you've learned a lot. Please remember to follow me on Twitter at Amos underscore OA and subscribe to this channel, share with friends, and do not forget our online platform where we solve past questions. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. I wish you success in your exams.